New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Dugs. augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to do that, but she's nice. I think later on. Um, uh, I guess whatever. Right. I didn't choose to get augmented, and I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good, surprisingly good. Doctor Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't pay you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Um... Well, sure, I guess I'll Actually, ask her. there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. Oh, jeez. Um... I don't... I don't think this helps at all. I think this is just like I'm a time waster. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik. But right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab. Right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. Yay, that just means a boatload of just text to pawn text. There's a janitor and an employee. Those are some top-of-the-line augmentations Mr. Sarah hooked you up with, Jensen. Did you get a chance to test them out? Um... Can you use this door? I, th I, I don't. I don't know what door I'm supposed to go through. I think this is maybe the one. <laughs> this place is huge. Uh, I. There's a vent. Cause you know Jensen just loves vents, or um, yeah, Jensen. I think. That. That goes. It goes down. Do I need to go down? I think I just need to go straight. There's something down there, though. I see it. I don't know what it is. What is... It just looks like a bunch of medication. But what is this? Pocket secretary. And credits. 200, that's not bad, actually. And I have about 5,000 credits. Um... Now, pocket secretary. Okay, I guess that was pretty much useless to have that pocket secretary. I expected it to have some sort of code in it, just for going through these vents. But I guess credits will make up for it. What if I just go upstairs? Well... Alright, there we go. Now I'm back in an area I recognize. Mostly. Come on. Hey, Mr. Dick, what do you, uh, what do you need with this? Well, well. If it isn't Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and scuzzy adapters. Well, look at you. Using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the Typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. 
I guarantee you will get along better that way. I don't want to get... You can screw off. Um... I wonder if th th uh, things respawn in here. Because I know there was some, but I don't see it, so... It's an ebook. I don't care for ebooks. Alright, I guess I will talk to the big man. And his talk would probably take about, like, 20 minutes. Because he talks way too much. And that is where I actually want to go down there. But I gotta deal with him first. Because <laughs> it's a story base, and I think he gives a mission. I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. Yeah, you wanted to see me? Yeah, how you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, check him at Dr. Markovic at the Limb Clinic downtown. Can't hurt to get a checkup. If you insist, listen. About Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. Um... Oh yeah, it's exactly. You asked me to deal with the situation, and that's what I did. I see. I'm also starting to see why your superiors in the police force decided to blame you for the Mexican town riots. Christ, Adam. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body. No matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Uh, let's try that. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You still got friends on the force. You think, uh, you think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Uh, Alright, whatever. Yeah, yes, things are slowly beginning to come back to me. And I don't know why I can't use that elevator. So. Let's see, there's... There's two missions down there. I don't know what they are. I know the ones for the body, obviously. And... So, that is for that, and... I don't think I want to do that limb thing, though. Because I think the first time I went through, they had the issue. Please re... Um, why? And why is my office, like, right in the middle of it? Oh, it's up here. Don't know why it was pointing down in the the lobby area. But yeah, I think later on it screws you over if you get the implant. But I think it gives you some special... -ish. I don't know. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played this. Adam Jensen, please okay, I get it. Yes, yes. So s Oh. There's some random dude in the office. Pocket secretary. There's some wine. I don't know why. 
you would ever take wine, hey, Jensen. but okay. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Uh, quest details. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be dick in this situation. About this because... Damn, Adam. Are you really gonna shake me down like this? That's cold. I'm hurting here. Look, I may be able to get my hands on a weapon mod for you. Jeez, I never thought I'd have to buy your help. Oh, sure, I guess. Whatever, whatever I guess. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. All right. I got it from here. Locate Tyndall's apartment building. I am assuming the blue one is for um, the current mission I'm on. And I wish I had the upgrade where I could just uh, go down quickly. What is, what is this, the bathroom? Yeah, it's the bathroom. Because it is a pain in the butt to go around. Oh, there we go. Finally, some stairs. I want to be careful, though, because I know if I drop, like, two feet, it breaks my legs and automatically kills me. No, it's... Is it down... It's downstairs. It's through the doors, actually. Great. This whole thing just brings back bad memories. I love working here, but it's hard knowing that it so everything is literally outside right now. And I got to remember not to shoot out here because I remember there was a point where I accidentally attacked one of the guards or did some. Mrs. Reed. Oh. oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. Oh, that's sad. Uh, she... I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? All that wine in my office? Um. Whatever I, I have to do, augmented or not. You seem very pragmatic, Adam. Maybe you should be careful not to trivialize such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. 
But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? Oh. Yep. Should I expect some form of compensation for this? Adam, you're... You're serious, aren't you? My God. This isn't who you used to be. I know, right? I thought a chance to know what really happened to Megan, what really happened to you, would have been enough. Would have been worth your time. I wonder what happens if I press it again. Should I expect some form of compensation? Does it just for this? loop? Adam, Aw. It just loops. Alright, whatever. I guess I'll. I. <laughs> <laughs> if I decline it, that would be a complete dick move. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. Oh my he god. He works part-time as a... Why does a detective need... I'm on it. Okay, I get... I get it. I can't move two feet without getting... <sighs> Whatever. And there was credits in that garbage bin. Okay. Okay.